Hey, welcome to the show today. We're really excited to have with us in the studio today, Ms. Judy Hoberman. Great to have you with us. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Yeah, yeah, totally. Judy is the international speaking professional that the world knows as selling in a skirt. Fascinating story. Uh, Judy started off in the insurance industry years ago and really saw a need for what she presents to the public and to women around the world. We're going to talk today in our interview about two amazing books, Famous Isn't Enough and Selling in a Skirt, and some really incredible new products that she's bringing to market. But I need to start at the beginning. I need to find out how you went from little old you employee to really an international speaking coach. Tell us about it. Well, you know, I wasn't always an employee. I was always an independent contractor. And I became an employee simply because an insurance company needed me to bring consistency to their training. And so I did. I built their training, and I built a university, and then I decided there's something missing here. So I left. I resigned in the height of this amazing economy. And when I left, I thought, what would I need if I was starting a business as a woman? And I thought, I could really use somebody that would mentor me, somebody that would coach me, somebody that would say, hey, you're doing a good job, but still be a woman. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of women in male-dominated industries become men, whether it's their, you know, their language or the way they dress, whatever it is, wow, they become men, right? So why can't you be feminine? Use your inherent feminine skills and still be successful. So when I started selling in a skirt, I really had no idea what I was gonna be doing, but I knew who my target was and it was really women. And so I went out and I found women's organizations, women's associations, and started speaking there. And one thing led to another, and I do a lot of training and coaching for women, and it's all wrapped around sales. Where did selling in a skirt come from? <sighs> you have to have a name that people remember. Right. And so I thought, okay, I'm selling, and I'm a female, and I wear a skirt, and so I started making lists of all the different names I could be, and selling in a skirt just came out, and I thought, well, let's test it out. Where I think is timely what you're doing is we've seen statistics over the last several years that in terms of what women do for a living, mm -hmm. a couple of those top positions are the same, but where we're seeing a massive change is more and more women are getting into sales professions and sales careers. What can you do to help those women? You know, because sales has always been male dominated and because it's been designed by men for men, what I can do is I can bring a different perspective. So I twist it just a little bit. I try to make it so women are comfortable with the sales process. Instead of selling, we're gonna be having a conversation. And so I train women to speak the right way, but to also listen to the men that they work with. Because you have to be in tune for what they say and what they hear and be able to communicate effectively. Mm. So I don't talk about right, wrong, better, worse. I talk about differences. I talk about the fact that let's take the differences and let's work together. So we've got thousands of people that watch this show regularly now, and you have a chance to give to potentially thousands and thousands of women that are in the selling profession that have found out about our interview, what's the one thing that you believe could make a difference in any professional saleswoman's career? I think the number one thing, and this is very difficult for me because I am a shiny object girl, is focus. Ah. You have to be focused. You have to remember why you went into the profession, and you can't keep looking at, you know, this sounds good, this sounds good, this sounds good. You have to really stay focused. And I have a little, you know, um, strategy that I use if you want me to tell you about it. Please. Okay, I call it my strategic triangle. So if you look at a triangle, there's actually three sides, which means that you're allowed, and I use air quotes because you have to be able to say I'm allowed to do this, you're allowed to do three things. So for me, it's training, speaking, and coaching. So if you ask me to go into business with you, if it doesn't fit in my triangle, mm -hmm. I'm allowed to say to you, no. Because the one thing that women don't want to do is we don't like to say no. We like to include everybody. We want to make everybody happy. But if you look at your triangle, there's only three things. So if I decide, you know what, Ken, I do want to go into business with you, I have to take something off my triangle. Interesting. And replace it with what you're doing. But if not, then I can't do it. So it's very, it's, a, it's really easy, but it's also very difficult to pick out the three things. But I'm telling you, when you stay focused, your sales will increase because you know either who your target market is or what the problem that you want to solve or whatever it is, and it's easy. And I'm guessing that to find out the techniques for choosing those three points, they have to go to a website or something. 
Well, they could really go to a website <laughs> and they could read it in the book. But it's, you know, it's, it's just something that I feel it's the number one thing to do right. in order to be focused for sales. Okay, let's talk about these books. So okay. what, what came first? What's the purpose of them? So selling let's talk with Selling in a Skirt. What's it all about? Selling in a Skirt is 30 years of experiences that I've had in male-dominated industries. And a lot of women are in male-dominated industries, whether it's insurance or whether it's, you know, roofing or whatever it is, you know, a lot of financial people. So... I took 30 years of experience and I put it into the book and I give you tips. So if you hear this, you know, from a man saying this to you, here's what you might want to do. You don't have to, but here's what you might want to do. But it's 30 years of what I went through. Mm. And it's a lot different now, but it's also a lot the same. I mean, the base of sales is relationships. Totally. And interaction between men and women is typically a harder dynamic to grab. If the saleswoman, salesperson is a woman, then what's inside of this book is going to make them bulletproof. Absolutely. And if a man is hiring women into their industry, it's going to help them tremendously because you're going to learn how, they, how women hear or how women speak or how women respond. Because men are generally transactional. It's basically get in, get out, and get the check. Mm -hmm. And women are more relational where we have to have a relationship with you before we do business with you. Right. Well, I can say, obviously, you and I share a passion for teaching and talking about sales. Absolutely. And I've read hundreds of books on the subject. I would personally recommend selling in a skirt. Well, thank you. We go in a different direction with Famous Isn't Enough. Totally. Though. So it, I'm curious to know what got you to hear and what this is all about. Okay, remember what I said that, you know, a lot of women are in sales right. and they were male-dominated industries and anything else. Being in business for four years, I have discovered every single mistake that an entrepreneur can make. Okay. You name it, I've done it. And then I've even made up some. And so <laughs> I decided- Created your own mistake? I did, I, you know, <laughs> who would have thought? And I decided if I can help one person save five minutes, just five minutes, it's all worth it. Mm -hmm. So Famous Isn't Enough is about actually earning money, not just money, but earning a fortune as an entrepreneur, because that's what women want to do is they don't want to just do something and make $5. You know, they might want to make $100 and make a huge difference, and that could be their fortune. Or they want to make 100000 or right. a million. So Famous Isn't Enough is about actually being in business, learning every facet of the business, every part of the process, but I also give you the mistakes you're going to hit, and I also give you the lessons learned. And I like the title. Um, I'm, I want to know if I could take the title a different way. Speaking to the women, could it actually mean... You don't have to be famous. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so many ways you can take it, and that's why we did the, the name like that. But you can, yeah, you don't have to be famous to speak. You don't have to. But once you speak, people start to get to know you, and the buzz is out there. Right. Once you write a book, you become the expert. I don't know how it happens, but you become the expert. So there's a lot of ways to be famous. It just depends on what your interpretation is. Judy is a prolific speaker, trainer, and of course, an amazing author. I love Selling in a Skirt. Famous Isn't Enough is a breakthrough book. You can get all of that stuff at sellinginaskirt.com. But there's some stuff in your future. I uh, had dinner with you last night yes. off camera. I learned about a new online training program that I'm excited about. Yeah. Why don't we talk about it for a second? It's actually about um, selling, and it's about how to be a better salesperson. It could be male or female, but you know, I really do concentrate on women because I am one. But you said, wow, that would be really good for men as well. So right. we're talking about learning tips and strategies in sales. And it's something that every month there's going to be new content coming in and there's going to be new exciting things, whether it's a video or an audio or something that you can you know, download. It's, it's pretty awesome. And it's all about the sales process. And we had some really deep conversations about the pricing of this website. And we we've chosen to sell this to people, to allow people to get involved on a monthly basis for under $10. For $9.97, they're going to get 30 years of audio, video, paper materials, yeah. your experience, the experience of your friends that you bring into the community, and literally anybody who engages and visits this community often will absolutely have a dynamic increase in their sales and their revenue. Absolutely. You know, you know, hold on to your hats because for under $10, seriously, it's going to be something that's going to revolutionize the sales industry. So I've seen a lot of people that offer these online communities and some are good and some aren't good. But it seems that the bigger the ego, the bigger the monthly fee. I've seen hundreds of dollars a month and knowing your content for literally less than what you're giving people. Um, there must be a lot of just a passion to give back that causes you to offer it at such a price. My whole goal is to make sure that whatever I do, I bring value. And, and you know, and yeah, I can charge a lot more 
but I feel that there are so many people either just starting out in sales or getting to a point where they're saying, I'm going to give up. I can't do this anymore. What if I can turn one person? What if that happens? Right. And, and I think that's important to know. And I, and I also believe that the more people that belong to this community, there's going to be a lot of relationships built and a lot of collaboration built. And I think that's also important. So. I also heard over dinner last night there's another book in the future. Well, you, you know, there's another book coming out in a couple of weeks. There's another book coming out in the summer. So, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of things going on. What keeps pushing you? What keeps making you want to... Uh, obviously, I know your lifestyle. I know you don't need to be doing this. So, the, the, you know, the final question for me would be why keep going? Again, it's all about what I can give back. Um, I always tell people, I have very successful people working for me, and I always say, if you forget where you come from, it's over. And if I can give back, and I love to mentor young women coming out of school, it, you know, it's, it's things like that where you want to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And mm -hmm. you know when you're not. Mm -hmm. And when I was corporate, I knew I wasn't in the right position. Now I'm in a position where if I write a book and I help people, that's great. If I do something like the Skirt Sales Club, that's great. But I also like to, you know, just to mentor people. So it's always about the give back. It's what you could do for people going forward. We've been here in the studio today with Judy Hoberman, the Selling in a Skirt professional. You can check her out at sellinginaskirt.com or invest in yourself and check out skirtsalesclub.com. It'll make a difference in your life.